I am Marcia Kinney, a mother, a certified elementary education teacher, and founder of The Kid Book Project. The mission of The Kid Book Project is to teach parents, caregivers, and teachers how to make books for young children for the purpose of building literacy skills and fostering a love of reading in a way that meets each child's developmental needs. The purpose of this lesson is to teach you how to make a puzzle book for your child or students. First, I will read you the book. Second, I will show you how to make the book. Third, I will teach you a strategy you can use to help build your child's reading skills. At the end, I will share a rainbow reminder, which will be a tip to help you consider your child's developmental needs so that you can help them learn to read in a way that is fun, playful, and relational. Waking up, buddy? Cousins by Marcia Kinney. I see Samuel. I see Boaz. I see Bella. I see Michaela. I see Faith. I see Shannon. We are cousins. After reading each page, your child can remove the puzzle piece, which is Velcro to the page. Your child can place the puzzle pieces on the last page to complete the puzzle. We are cousins. You can take this idea and use it with different concepts as well. Perhaps you want to make a photo puzzle book with pictures of people in your family. Or if you're a teacher, you could use this for your class at the beginning of the year and have photos of each of your students so the kids can learn each other's names. Next, I will show you how to make the book. Making this book is very simple. To make the cover, I simply created a document on my computer with the title, the author, and some clip art, which I found on a free clip art site from the internet. I simply cut and pasted it onto my page and printed it out, cut it out, glued it on the cover. To make the text, I type the sentences on the computer, print them out, cut them, and glue them on each page. I prefer to use a font in which the lowercase a looks the same as the way we would typically handwrite it. Comic Sans is a great font. That's what I use for this book. And I often put two spaces in between words instead of one so they can clearly see the separation among the words. To make the photo puzzle pieces, I choose the photos I would like to use for my computer, print them out, and then I cut each one out. Next, I grab a piece of cardstock. You could also use a file folder. It's important to use something kind of heavy since these are going to be the puzzle pieces that will be removed. Then I take the photos and place them on the cardstock spreading them out evenly, thinking about how much space I'm going to have on my page with the text below, and then I get a pencil and basically just free draw the puzzle pieces around each photo. After I've drawn all the puzzle pieces, I cut each puzzle piece out. After cutting them out, I place each puzzle piece on the last page of the book and trace the pieces with a black sharpie or marker to make an outline for the puzzle so that on the last page your child can place the puzzle pieces together to make the complete puzzle. Then I take the photos and glue them on the puzzle pieces. After that I get some markers and color around the outside of the photo to just make it a little bit more colorful. Next step is adding Velcro to your page and to the photo puzzle piece. I prefer to buy a big roll of Velcro, which I purchased at our local hardware store. Now to cut the Velcro, I just simply get scissors and cut off square tabs. 
I place the rough part of the Velcro onto the page and the soft part onto the back of the puzzle piece so that each piece can be placed on the page and removed. To assemble the book, I take all the pages and put them in a pile, then use my hole puncher to punch three holes down the side. Then I take my one inch binder rings and loop them through the holes and connect them to make my binding. The best way to make your books last a long time is to take them to an office supply store and have them laminated. Usually I would just laminate the front and back covers, but for this book you may want to laminate the puzzle pieces as well since they will be handled a lot. One extra thing you can do with this book is place the beginning letter of each person's name on the page below where the puzzle piece will be. That way when they're placing it back, they can make that connection with the beginning sound like S -S Samuel and see that letter S, which makes the sound. I also decided to add the beginning letters to the puzzle template on the back page as well. Your book should now be complete so you can begin reading it with and to your child. Now it's time for a teaching strategy. The strategy I like to use with this book is helping your child hear the beginning sounds of words. An important component of reading instruction is something called phonemic awareness. Phonemic awareness is the awareness that words are made up of different sound parts. Now one aspect of phonemic awareness is hearing that words begin with a certain sound. So with this book, I like to use the names of my son's cousins to help him hear those beginning sounds. For example, when reading this page, I might say, I see Samuel, S Samuel. His name starts with the sound S S S Samuel. When teaching beginning sounds, it's important to try to avoid something called the schwa, which is when we add a vowel sound after the consonant sound. For example, with my son's name, Boaz, I see Boaz, B, B, Boaz. A lot of people might say B, B, which is actually the sound B and A uh together. So you wanna try to avoid adding that extra vowel sound because once they are learning how to read and blend sounds together, it may be a little bit confusing. So try to focus on just that b, b, b sound. My rainbow reminder for this book is to remember to meet your child where they are at. Now my son is two and a half years old and he is a little bit silly. So the first time I showed him his cousin's book, he loved it. But when it was time to take the puzzle pieces off of the last page and put them back on their individual page, pages, he saw it as a little game. So for example, when we got to the page, I see Boaz, he decided to pick up his brother's picture. His brother is named Samuel. So he put Samuel's picture there and looked up at me with a big grin. Now remember, I wanna meet him where he's at and I wanna focus on the fun and the joy of reading. If he wants to put the picture on the wrong page, then we can just make a silly game out of it and say, oh, that's silly, the picture doesn't match the words. Usually it matches the words. And then by playing the game, you're actually teaching them that skill of, oh, pictures usually match the words in books. I also like to say, oh, Samuel, hmm, he's a baby, and that starts with the same sound as Boaz. B, B, baby, B, B, Boaz. He's also your B, B, brother. Meet your child where they're at. See what they're doing and use what they're doing as a learning opportunity and as an opportunity to have fun and find joy in reading. That concludes this lesson from the Kid Book Project. Please remember to laugh, play, and read with your child today. Good job, buddy!